class. Welcome to today's math lesson. My name is Mrs. Lawson and I am so very glad that you are here to learn with me today. Today we are going to be using geo boards and they're so much fun to practice making shapes. Today we're going to be talking about congruent shapes and I know you've heard that word before. Do you remember what the word congruent means? Maybe you even remember the actions. Congruent shapes are the same shape and the same size. They have to be both. You might have shapes that are similar. They are maybe the same shape, but not the same size. Well, they would not be congruent. In order for shapes to be congruent, they need to be the same shape and the same size. Just like my trapezoids here. They're both trapezoids and they are the same size, so they're congruent. You are going to get to play today with some elastic bands and some geo boards. Have fun playing with math. I have four shapes here in an AB pattern. These are all squares, so they're all the same shape. Does that mean they're congruent? Hmm, no, to be congruent you need to be the same shape and the same size. The same shape and the same size. Do you see a square that is congruent to this square? There it is. These two squares are congruent. I can move this one over here because now these two squares are congruent. They are the same shape and the same size. Are these four shapes congruent? No, they are the same shape, but they're not all the same size. These two shapes are congruent to each other, and these two shapes are congruent because they are the same shape and the same size. Are these shapes congruent? Yes, they are. They're the same shape and the same size. What about these two shapes? <laughs> no, they're not the same shape, nor are they the same size. Are these two shapes congruent? They are. They're the same shape, they're both triangles, and they're the same size. I just had them in a different direction, but you don't need to be in the same direction to be congruent. You just need to be the same shape and the same size. Let's take a look at this geo board. We've used them before. We can take rubber bands and place them on the geo board to make different shapes. I've just made a triangle. I am going to make a triangle on this geo board that is congruent. I would need to have the rubber band all along the bottom and then uh, not quite to the top. These two shapes are congruent. They're the same shape and the same size. On today's worksheet, you will see shapes made on tiny little geo boards. I would love for you to practice making some shapes and seeing if they, you can make them the same shape. Hmm, will they be the same size? Not quite. I could try to make a triangle that size on my geo board. It would be a lot smaller than this one. We could do it. Hmm, that's too big. I think it's going to be hard to make it the same shape and the same size. But you can make it the same shape. The shape on your paper is going to be much smaller. If you have two geo boards, you can practice making congruent shapes. Shapes that are the same shape and the same size. I just made a rectangle on this board and I could make a rectangle on my other geo board as well. These two rectangles and these two triangles are congruent. Oh class, thank you so very much for playing with me today. I hope that you get an opportunity to play with your geo boards 
and that you can have fun creating shapes and copying them in the same shape and the same size so that they are congruent and not just similar. Well class, I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye!